You know, I was going to say it's the start of your life together, but I think it's really the continuation of your life together. And as parents, we have those dreams. For me, I remember finding out that this guy was on his way. I called my sister, Kathy. I can remember talking to her in shock over the news. And at just the, at that moment, you start dreaming for your kids, right? Parents, like you start to have all those visions of what's going to happen in their lives and what you're planning. And you go through life, you start to have, you know, all the moments when they're born and they start talking and walking and crawling. But as you look back and you think about all those dreams that you have for your kids, you do pause again, a pause and reflection day for today. And you realize that the dream you build, sometimes it's gonna disguise itself. And it's gonna disguise itself in hard work. And it comes disguised in, in disagreements and frustrations and fights and all of that, right? It's really hard. And sometimes you get lost on the site of your dream but your dream will reveal itself to you. And it'll be with family and friends. It'll be your love for each other. It'll be the quiet, rainy evening where you're watching Netflix, and I'm pretty sure it'll be the 10th time that you will watch Grey's Anatomy. So it'll be all those moments that add up year after year after year. And one day, you're gonna look back, you're gonna have a reason to pause, just like Lenore, John, James, and I are today, to say, wow, look at the dream. And it was a beautiful dream. We have been talking about this day since we were 16 years old. We have had a very different year than we could have ever expected. I would never have guessed a pandemic would put our wedding on hold. While how we got married is not what I would have ever imagined, I wouldn't change a thing. I cannot wait to see you. You're my best friend, my biggest supporter, and my greatest encourager. You take care of me and love me with everything in you, and I'm so thankful to be loved by you. You are my best friend, and I am so blessed to be yours. Will you so many years. In the almost nine years that we've been together, I've witnessed you grow from a shy teenager into a strong, powerful woman. I'm so lucky that you chose me to spend the rest of your life with. There's nobody else I would rather share this journey with than you. The years we have spent growing together individually and in our relationship has been the most meaningful time in my life. I don't know who I would be without you in my life. You're the one true love of my life and I'm so happy that this day is finally here. All I can think about is seeing your beautiful face in that white dress. I know you've been dreaming about this day and this moment since you were young. I just hope that I can make this day as special as you've always dreamed. Thank you, Caitlin, for continually choosing me. Will you stay up Caitlin have a long growing love story. They can be linked to each other all the way back to the fourth grade. Caitlin fondly remembers seeing a young strapping safety patrol guy holding the door during bus arrival while wearing his cool roller hockey shirt. Of course, that grabbed her attention because of her love for ice hockey. Middle school came upon them when Caitlin's friend gave Kyle her number. His response to this was, who is Caitlin Langeberger? <laughs> but he got to know her and asked her to go to the eighth grade dance, only to cancel a few days before. When they reached high school, Kyle finally came to his senses and 11th grade rolled around and changed it all. They've been inseparable ever since. 
high school sweethearts. Darling, I swear I will always remember that my life's adventure is you. So we <laughs> look amazing. Oh, oh my god, I know. I know. Your hair looks awesome. Your dress looks amazing. Look at you. <laughs> How's your morning, man? Good. Getting everything worked out? Yep. Good. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Caitlin, today I vow to be yours and only yours for the rest of our lives. I vow to love you unconditionally, to always protect you and provide for you. I vow to always remember the small things, to never stop holding doors open for you, to never stop pulling the car up for you when we're at Target and it's raining outside. <laughs> I vow to cherish you and cherish all of our time together, to appreciate the little moments in our day-to-day -day life just as much as the big ones. Above all else, I will always work to love you and be the husband that you deserve. I promise as we spend the rest of our lives together, I will be by your side, pushing you, encouraging you, and supporting you always. I look forward to raising our family and building our relationship under the care and guidance of God. You are the strength I didn't know I needed and the joy I didn't know I lacked. Today, I choose to continue spending the rest of my life with you. I love you. Now, together with friends and family, we celebrate that you are husband and wife. Kyle, you may kiss your bride. that Caitlin found Kyle, the guy that matched her perfect description of a boyfriend, which was someone who played hockey. <laughs> I remember always telling her in, in high school, date Kyle, so I'm gonna take some credit for it. Kyle knows you better than anyone, and I couldn't ask for a better guy to marry my best friend. I'll never forget the day I met Marty. He nearly burst down the door of our apartment in Maine, mustache flowing in the breeze. He was demanding to know if anyone had brought their rock climbing gear with them. Mind you, we were there to play hockey. It was at this moment I knew a bromance was brewing. Not long after getting to know each other, we had our first visitor to the apartment, little Miss Caitlin Langbeer just the sweetest, most kind-hearted girl out there. Marty became someone I looked up to immensely. Marty's character is impeccable. He was routinely putting others before himself, sticking up for his teammates, and most importantly, being the toughest, toughest fighter in the North American Hockey League. 